Earth awakens two massive eruptions, simultaneously changing the landscape. The massive eruption of Steamboat Geyser in Kilauea has rocked the landscape again, that making geologists nervous about the frightening natural phenomenon. Steamboat in Kilauea, one of the most active activities in the world, has shaken each landscape on a bright morning. Right around 7.30, the Earth seemed to wake up with the massive eruption from Steamboat Geyser, one of the eruptions that is believed to have broken its own record for eruptions in recent years. The unstoppable eruption has sprayed water violently into the air. The spray was followed by rock fragments, silica and boiling water that has hit visitors. It is estimated that the spray reached 450 feet into the air, with thousands of visitors in the park area, visitors from all over the world described. The eruption with a violent sound almost breaking the ears. This is an eruption that has ever happened in the modern century. Recordings from the equipment at Yellowstone show the sound of the eruption that breaks the ears, heard thousands of miles away. Until now, the USGS research team has been working hard to examine the incident. Thousands of visitors are safe. More than 200 hot springs are affected by the eruption. Some areas of the park look messy due to silica and molten rock that hit it. But five hours after the eruption, exactly at 13.30 local time, Michael Poland, scientist in charge of YVO, released a new video saying that Yellowstone National Park will be temporarily closed. The park is expected to be closed for the next three days, but if the condition of the park is shaken by a small earthquake, it is possible that Yellowstone Park will be closed for weeks. But a terrible phenomenon also hit the island of Hawaii. Kilauea in Hawaii is again spewing lava water across the surface. Something that makes scientists anxious. Something that makes locals very afraid. Before the ongoing eruption phase of episode 20, Kilauea experienced almost 31 hours of initial low-level activity that included a gas piston event at the north vent that produced a low lava dome eruption overflows and backflows, along with slow lava flows from the south vent. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory estimates that lava flows from this episode cover less than half of the floor of the Halima Umon crater. The agency, operated by the U.S. Geological Survey, warned that emissions of volcanic gases, a mixture of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide, were increasing. When sulfur dioxide is released from an eruption, it reacts in the atmosphere to create a visible haze known as Vogue. In addition, visitors to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and residents of the surrounding area should be on the lookout for Pele's hair and other small glass fragments and volcanic tephra carried in plumes, as has been the case with previous episodes.